this is gonna be really hard for me to shoot and I don't really know why. We're always open and honest about what's going on in our lives and I think this is um, no different. I think there's a lot of people that follow us that we're really good friends with and I think that they would wanna know what's going on. We're Lauren and Daniel. We live full time in our Airstream travel trailer. We bring you along for our journey, which we guarantee will inspire you to get up, get out, and get adventuring to make memories of your own. We never expected a pregnancy to be a simple thing, but it's been one huge emotional roller coaster. First trimester was like easy breezy. Yeah, we got no our- No morning sickness or anything, right? Yeah, people ask I mean, me, how did I run the New York City Marathon three months pregnant? I only had like a week, maybe two, where I felt a little bit nauseous, and then like a week where I didn't really feel like eating much of anything. So like first trimester, it was a breeze. We got to do our first ultrasound, which was amazing. We heard the baby's heartbeat. All these amazing things were happening. We were on top of the world. And we got to tell our families, which was so much fun. Our original plan was that we would have the baby in Nashville. I've always imagined when I got pregnant that I wanted to have a baby naturally and non-medicated. So the plan was we found a birth center in Nashville and my mom and sister are both there too. So it just felt like the right place. And we were planning on simply continuing to travel uh, through my second and most of my third trimesters. And we had a plan to go to Florida uh, and come down for the Tampa RV show, which was super fun. And then our plan was to head out west. We kind of scoped out a few locations. I mean, we had talked about maybe Quartzsite and some other places in Arizona. Definitely we had a goal of getting out west in some wide open spaces with plenty of parking. <laughs> so we made it down to Tampa uh, for the Tampa RV show. And right before that, we had my 20 week ultrasound, which is supposed to be like the most exciting one because it's your anatomy ultrasound where you get to find out everything about baby. Excluding the gender, which we've decided to keep a surprise, but you know, the, the feet and the hands and seeing a profile picture, um, gosh, it was just, it was so amazing. It is a lot bigger than it was last time. It's like sucking its little thumb. Like, so weird and crazy. <laughs> like, the fact that I can grow a human is a miracle. We got back to my mom's house after our appointment, basically, on cloud nine. Everything with baby Fernandez looked amazing. Um, its arms and legs are a little bit longer than what is average in like the 75 to 90 percentile. So we're thinking to be a little bit taller maybe than normal, <laughs> a little bit heavier than normal too. And I've right? been feeling like a lot of kicks, which is really fun. Um, so that was like the only thing that looked like it was out of the ordinary. Uh, Except for the fact that it looked like it was doing the running man in there, which is pretty cool too. I was pretty excited about that. I'm like, it looks like it's already running. But when the midwife called, she let us know that the radiologist had taken a look at it and that things weren't as simple as... They appeared on the ultrasound. The midwife let us know that... I have complete placenta privia. Um, and basically what it means is that my placenta, which is the organ giving baby nutrients and that is attached to my blood supply, is sitting on the very bottom of my uterus and covering where the baby comes out. Part of the things that she told us that I needed to do is that I needed to no longer spend more than four hours a day on my feet that we needed to be within 20 minutes of a hospital at any given time one with a neonatal intensive care unit there are different levels of placenta privia marginal which is like just a little bit in the way partial which is significantly in the way and then complete which is what mine is 
and it's basically the most severe and risky. She told us that it couldn't move, but the odds of that moving between the 20 week mark and the 32 week mark were very, very slim. I was in about a thousand tears because she also let us know that if things don't change, that I would no longer qualify for having baby Fernandez at the birth center uh, or naturally because I would have to have a C-section. While I sat there and just kind of like bawled, Daniel tried to comfort me and then started researching things. Unfortunately, one of the dangers with it is that Lauren could bleed out and that doesn't necessarily only put the baby at risk, it also puts her at risk. So there is potential for something that could have taken both of their lives and um and that's probably one of the scariest things i've ever experienced in my entire life so that's heavy didn't really know what to do because our airstream was in florida um and we wanted to be back home this is i mean this is home for us after and with the fact that we need to be 20 minutes with a hospital uh, an airplane wasn't an ideal solution, but really neither was driving. I mean, we were we were literally supposed to jump on a flight a couple hours later. After we found out the news, <laughs> literally, they told us, and we were literally at the time packing for our flight. So we decided that we would jump on the flight that it seemed like the least risky of the two options and just get back to our home. And thankfully, <laughs> although it was a very <laughs> tear-filled flight. I kept asking her, okay? You're okay? Like literally every five helpful. minutes on the flight, <laughs> which probably doesn't help because it's adding some stress, but I was so stressed. Um, but it worked out fine. We got back home. Um, we got to the Airstream and back to sunny Florida, which was wonderful and gave us a couple days to process. Our plans to head out west basically were out the window. We knew at that point that we really couldn't travel and it also meant that our ability to fly back home to nashville which is where my care was um really didn't make sense anymore either so we had campgrounds booked through the beginning of february but if you have ever <laughs> tried to last minute book campgrounds in florida during the winter you know that that is really less than ideal Apparently, Florida is a very popular place for RVers in the winter, <laughs> which we knew and sort of expected. Not like this. Not like this. Please leave a message and we'll return your call as soon as possible. If you are looking for any monthly stays, we are booked solid until May 1. They're so busy that you would have a voicemail that says they don't have availability. That's great. Do y'all have a waiting list? Yes, ma'am, we do. Is it ridiculously long? <laughs> or is it like a possibility? Yes, it is. Actually, when I do you, it'll be 16 pages. Holy moly. Okay, got it. <laughs> the good news is that we did find availability for April. <laughs> so when we can figure out what to do with our lives for February and March, um we'll have somewhere to stay april and may which isn't the baby is supposed to come but <laughs> it's really stressful because of the weight of the situation just getting a second opinion was a good next step for us the chances of the first ultrasound being wrong are slim to none but there's always hope that you can cling on to um so while we're excited to get another view of baby Fernandez. Um, I guess we're a little nervous. Super nervous. So, we just found out that apparently, even though they didn't think it would move at all until like 32 weeks, that it has moved almost completely and it only needs to move another centimeter before it's gonna be okay. So. <laughs> truly um and not all we were expecting and coming in here today so we still are going to talk to the doctor um but <laughs> but that's really really good news we aren't out of the woods yet 
with where we're at right now, I still would have to have a C-section. I still have to follow all of the exact same rules about not being on my feet more than four hours a day and that, you know, 10 years ago, um, women with this condition, they would literally just put them in the hospital and like let them wait out the rest of their pregnancy until then. Um, thankfully, we don't have to do that. We get to continue hanging out in the Airstream. We just have to be really careful. If you followed any of our adventures, you already know that keeping Lauren limited to four hours of movement, not an easy task. So that has been probably <laughs> something that she's had to deal with that I, I know it's really impacted, you know, her mental health, not having the ability to be as active, especially when we said living such an active lifestyle. And it's, it's been a, a lot and she's been absolutely amazing through the entire process so far. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Some good news a few days ago in that one of the campgrounds that we stayed at previously had miraculously had an opening for us and we're going to have a place to stay means we get to stay in our home yeah because there was a point really when we thought we were most likely going to have to find a place to just store the airstream um and move back in with family <laughs> um which would have been fun we love our family here in florida 100 percent, but not ideal it's insane trying to get a hold of even just like a couple of days <laughs> to park your RV down here right now. Um, so we definitely am planning on coming back here next winter. We'll be booking probably sometime this month. For next year. <laughs> For next yeah, year. no, that's what we're going to do. So we know we'll be in Florida next year because we we'll want to come back to visit family, <laughs> but we're going to book it well like in now. advance. <laughs> like yeah, we, now. <laughs> exactly. But we are still just in a waiting position. Um, thankfully, we have another ultrasound that is scheduled in a couple of weeks. So we will take all of the thoughts and prayers and hopes and wishes and dreams for Gosh, baby Fernandez. <laughs> we'll take it all. <laughs> to kick my placenta out of the way and for everything to go from being a high risk pregnancy to things being more normal again. On a positive note, because we're from Florida, you are going to get to see some of the best places because we have lived here for so long. Me, my whole life. You, 10 years? Yeah. Right? So, yeah. This is kind of our stomping ground. But don't worry. We'll make sure that I'm not on my feet more than four hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> but that being said, you don't have restrictions. So, therefore, you better make sure to wander local this week. Do it for me. <laughs> Because as you know, it's good for the soul.